Time right now is 8.51. You're watching Q13 Fox News this morning. No matter how coordinated or a good a driver you think you are, texting at the wheel is an easy distraction that can be deadly. Jason Epstein is the founder of Teens Against DistractedDriving.com. His group is holding a special assembly today here in Seattle, but he's talking with us first. Jason, thanks for being here. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. So, you know, break it down for us. Why did you start Teens Against Distracted Driving, and what exactly do you guys do? Well, a couple of years ago, I read an article about a young child that was killed in a texting while driving accident. It was a texting driver that rear-ended them, killed the four-year-old in the back. At that time, I had a four-year-old child as well, and I said, you know what, there's got to be something I can do to stop this. I'm a, uh, an auto accident attorney by trade. That's what I do in my day job. And so I see the other side of it, and I thought, maybe I can get this message out to kids to not text and drive. Yeah, we all know that distracted drivers for decades have caused a lot of crashes you know you reach down for something you're fiddling with the radio but now we have these devices in our cars all of us do cell phones that are a constant distraction if if we let them be so what do the numbers say about how many kids are texting and driving and what do we know about the consequences in terms of the numbers numbers are huge uh, the average teenager sends 50 text messages a day and 15 percent of teen of teenagers send 200 or more text messages a day. Wow. Um, the average time it takes to send and receive a text message that their eyes are not on the road is 4.6 seconds. So if you think about the speeds that we're traveling at highway speeds, you go more than end zone to end zone at Quest when you send and receive a text while driving on the highway. Wow, that's a lot of ground to cover. So you're going to be speaking this morning at 11.30 at Seattle's Holy Names Academy, and you're also going to be joined, joined by Diana Jones. She's the mother of 22-year-old Ashley Davis Jones, who died last month after hitting a box truck head-on. Police say she was texting and driving when that happened. Talk about how important it is for us to keep our families from experiencing the same tragedy as Ashley's. Yeah, well, that's what this is really all about, is preventing this sort of thing from happening again. Um, you know, Diana Jones suffered a tragic loss in a texting while driving accident. Um, if we can do anything to stop kids from making those same mistakes, then that's what I want to do. And that's why we're speaking to the Holy Names High School to try and send that message to the teenagers, look, don't text and drive. And we give them the, uh, the, the Lance Armstrong style bracelets mm -hmm. that say, I pledge to not text and drive when they sign our pledge form that they will not text and drive. Wow. This is a common theme, though, when we, when we really think about it, Jason. When we, we try to get our kids not to drink and drive. We try to get our kids to wear seatbelts. We try to get our kids not to have unprotected sex. It's, it's just one thing after another. What is it about this age group? They just feel invincible, right? We all did when we were that age. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can remember the, some of the things that I did when I was a teenager that I'd rather not discuss on TV. Yeah. But, you know, yeah, that, that's absolutely right. You, uh, you make bad decisions and you don't have the understanding of the repercussions. And so these kids feel like they're invincible and um, texting is so prevalent to them that they just don't realize how dangerous it is. You know what I think is exciting about what you're doing is that when we get our kids to recycle, these kids go home from school and get mom and dad to recycle. Uh, so other issues like that. Do you get a sense that kids are starting to catch on to the dangers in texting and driving and maybe they'll carry that message home so mom and dad don't text and drive either? The kids are really receptive to the message that we deliver and part of what we do is we actually give them pledge forms to take home to their parents to get their parents to pledge to not text and drive because their parents are actually the second most at-risk group because in order to communicate with their children the parents now have to text. Yeah. Yeah. Where do you see this? What's your end game in this? Do you want more policies, more laws, more what? I mean, what's, what, do you, what do you think needs to happen? Because it's still a big problem right now. Yeah, I mean, I think probably my opinion is a little unpopular, but I think that the penalties for texting and driving should be the same as the penalties for drinking and driving. It's just as dangerous, if not more. Some studies show it's more dangerous than drinking and driving. Wow. So I, I would advocate really way tougher policies. And I also think that given enough time, Technology probably will help us solve this problem, disable uh, texting devices while the car is moving. Or make everything hands free or stuff like that. Well, Jason, keep, uh, keep up the good work. It's great to have you on the show today. Thank you so much. Jason Epstein. And if you want to check out more about Jason's cause, teensagainstdistracteddriving.com. Well, no matter how coordinated or good a driver you think you are, texting at the wheel is an easy distraction with potentially deadly consequences, especially for kids. Students at Holy Names Academy learned that firsthand today. A state trooper spoke about the dangers of texting at the wheel, and a mother whose daughter recently died from doing it had a message that really hit home. So that was very powerful for the kids to have her come up and speak. Um, and see that this can affect real people. I'm really not texting and driving anymore. Like, I'm really scared. 
One of the things the group does is give out pledge bracelets, around 10,000 so far, to teens who promise not to drive distracted. For more information on safer driving, check out teensagainstdistracteddriving.com. Fantastic idea to raise awareness idea. for that. Okay.